Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you my favorite watch. This is Skme1096. Uh, exactly this color variation. This Skme model. I bought this watch, uh, I don't remember, five years ago and I paid like uh, four, maybe five euros and as you can see even after five years it is running still very well and it still looks pretty good and surprisingly even to me that uh, yellow gold ring is still shining uh, pretty pretty well no peeling off no discoloration it's, it's just very very good looking so, why do I like this watch so much? Um, well, it is digital and it has rounded face, which is quite, well, let's see, a little bit rare. And what's even more rare is that uh, it is a relatively small watch. and. You can find the size of my wrist in the description and that's how it looks like on my wrist. It looks very well. I could say this is my beater and travel watch but I do wear it uh, a little bit more often than just like a beater watch. Sometimes I took it out of the drawer, put it on my hand and forget about other watches for a week because it is so light so comfortable and it looks good I like how it looks and it also has very good readable dial it is very easy to see the time I like it a lot and it's, it is also solar powered so even five years have passed I haven't changed a battery yet. Um, I like this buckle. is also gold color as the face of the watch. Um, so yeah, it, it feels a little bit like Square G-Shock, I would say. Uh, probably the same. <laughs> it's just personal preference which one looks but for you so considering the price i don't think you could get something better than that i mean uh, speaking of durability this watch has seen a lot of lakes rivers several seas i've been traveling with this watch swimming with this watch i have even been in the sauna and jacuzzis with this watch <laughs> cheap watch what nothing to worry about right and yet it survives it all no no problems whatsoever winter or summer hot or cold doesn't matter <laughs> no problems and it has very good light um, i'll show you it now how it looks like it shines very bright, better than any loom you could imagine. <laughs> and yeah, it's just very cute, nice looking, little, lightweight, cheap, but I would say very durable, good quality watch. I really recommend it. I don't know what prices are they currently going on eBay. I saw last time it was about 7 euros or 7 USD. You can see. If you're thinking about something like this, having a beta watch, just go for it, buy it. I, I'm, I'm seriously recommending it. You will see, you will like this watch a lot and you're gonna wear it more often than then it then it would be just a beta watch you're gonna like it more than just a beta watch 
and you don't care about it. Don't care about dropping it, getting it wet, it's cheap. It, it can't survive at all. <laughs> so, um, how does it look like after five years? Well, I don't know, this is, I believe this is just simple plastic face. But because this watch is designed in the way like square G-Shocks, it has that bezel on top and the glass is a little bit recessed so it protects it well and even though I don't really save this watch it still looks pretty good it has very small tiny micro scratches on the face but nothing really serious to bother me and and the bezel itself has a little scratches as well, but also holding up pretty well. This is not uh, rubber like G-Shock would be. This is hard plastic, but the band is as soft as you would get on G-Shock Square. I am mentioning G-Shock Square quite often because I had one. <laughs> so I can compare it and the size is basically the same as Square G-Shock and the feel on hand is the same except this is just a little bit lighter and cheaper at least 10 times 10 times cheaper than any G-Shock basically and yet what you get for your money is quite ridiculous honestly and Speaking of Skme as a brand, yes, they do copy a lot of other watches, uh, a lot of G-Shocks as well, but I haven't seen this particular model in other brands. I believe it might be unique to the Skme. So, okay, it's not a homage, it's not a ripoff, it's just Skme unique watch very good watch. They have other watches with solar panels but they are rather big and I prefer small watches. So yeah no, nothing else really to say about it. And yeah another thing you like it or hate it I don't know but I hear how it is. Those buttons are very sensitive. Well sometimes I accidentally bump them and I want to look at the time and I see stopwatch but well it's not a big deal for me honestly uh, I like those buttons uh, are easy to press because when let's say I use this watch in a gym and I use this watch when I time my runs and let's say I run okay and I need to quickly press the button I just simply just tap the button and the watch stops the timer stops it's I like this a lot it's very comfortable very convenient uh, quite the opposite of G-Shock squares with those tiny hard to press buttons but you know whatever you need if you need buttons which you can't accidentally bump somewhere and stop the timer let's say and go for G-Shock square but if you need buttons where you can reliably press, press every time and you know and start or stop the timer 100% of the time always this is this is a good decision this watch is very good for that it also has alarm clock of course and has beeping uh, hourly charm I believe it is called and it also has that beep when you press and start stopwatch timer or go through menu. I actually disabled that beep. I removed the back cover and removed that beeping mechanism, that beeping spring. I can put it back anytime I want of course. Why I did that? It's because, I don't know, it doesn't... It, it kind of funny. At the gym when I count uh, the time, uh, how much do I have to rest, 
I walk this with this watch on my wrist <laughs> and always beep 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 setting the time uh, after every repetition and so it feels a little bit <laughs> geeky <laughs> too geeky for me sorry it's just yeah so I disabled it. it it is silent now of course the alarm isn't working anymore I don't need it though <laughs> but yeah no beeping for me so uh, me 1096 water resistant to 5 bars and I have tested it I have swim with this watch a lot no problems whatsoever and when I uh, was disabling the sound when I was removing the back it actually has pretty good well, I don't know good or bad but it does have a rubber seal so you can just remove the back, grease it up a little bit, put it back on so it is, you know, it's not too dry, it's watertight. Uh, yep, uh, beautiful, uh, even maybe classy looking, lightweight, cheap watch. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.